Weifold Challenge Cup. Got Thames Rowing Club B on the Berkshire Station. And Dresner of Germany on the right, on the Buxt Station. So important to get a good clean start, isn't it? If you can set the tempo of the race and presumably from a confidence point of view as much as anything else, you feel a million dollars and the Germans just flirting with danger again on that right hand side. Look how close the blades are getting to those red boys. Getting very close. Thames Book and Queenborough have a very strong program. Many countries over the past few years, but it's pretty made up with quite young guys. You actually have in that Thames boat an old captain, captain of boats of Dulwich and captain of boats of Radley, so two big schools coming together to row for one club now. Up to Forley we go. Not too much in this race, is there? The Germans being held by Thames Rowing Club. They are in the lead, the Germans, but not by much. I think we saw from the start some quite erratic steering, so you want to help these guys just stay straight down their course and give each other clean water to row in, but the German crew, Dresden, Rudevering, just pushing out a length there. These Thames boys, they've not let the tempo go down whatsoever. They're pushing harder than now, coming up to their stern. Coming a bit closer together as well, after the Germans came so close to hitting the booms, they had the red boys just inches away from their oars, and now they have got themselves into a good position. You can see Thames Rowing Club behind them, they can control the race from there, get more leniency from the umpire if the steering does go wrong. Yeah, they certainly will can't interfere with the crew so if they moved in front now they would get warned and get moved to back to their station you can drift a little bit closer though can't you if you get the lead yeah it's a bit of gray area if, you, if i was in a crew and i was up that much you'd want to give them a little bit of dirty water it's not nice to ruin any kind of wash certainly turbulence that you cause from being in front so you, you can give them a little bit but it's, it's not very sportsman like to do that no you wouldn't have got anywhere near it in that case, Jess. No, no. That grey area is really what the umpire's being asked to do. It's their duty, isn't it, to interpret the grey area? Yeah, and we it depends which umpire you get. Some could be very, very strict on you. Some could have a bit more lenience. But um, it's their role to make sure this race gets raced fairly and there's there's nothing that could give a red flag at the end of the race and might cause a re-row or a disqualification. That's the last thing we really want. Was it very different conversations for you? Because obviously multi-lane, six-lane rowing is what you spent most of your time doing. And then you come to Henley and it's side-by-side -side racing. Did you spend a lot of time talking about the steering and how you can maybe impact on the opposition boat, which in a six-lane race actually you can't have much of an impact in any way tactically, can you? Yeah, I mean, six-lane racing, you just got to get your boat from A to B as fast as possible. People talk about tactics, but you can't let other people affect you. This kind of racing, you 100% can affect each other, and I think that that's the excitement of being on this course. And right now, you can see that dirty water, those big puddles coming down. That will affect this Thames boat behind them. But I'd normally have a cock steering me, so I wouldn't yes. blame them. Yes, that's the thing in an 80s you normally were. And you get, get a bit scared sometimes as they start moving over. You don't want to see the umpire twitching his red flag. You do Henny in a boat other than an 8? No, I wouldn't even sit in 8s. I'd love to come back and do a bit, probably do a bit more training. And, Hopefully, get some club events in there. I'll be back again. <laughs> more, well, now there are a few more opportunities, aren't there? There really are, more yeah. More and I, I, um, I watch on my crewmates, Katie Greaves, who sat in the bow seat of the alumni Headington boat earlier on this morning. 35 now, Katie Greaves. She'll probably offer that. Well, wow, I remember as an early 20s. So, I mean, so do I. I've read Katie since I was 18, but she has often gone off to cycling, doing a lot of cycling, and sure she's fit enough to still qualify and race here in the Reverend. So. Never say never. I've got a picture of both of you in the eighth from Slovenia. Fresh, fresh face. Yeah. 2011. Oh, yeah. You were both in the eight together, yeah. weren't you? Sneaked the bronze there. and Jess Eddy and six others. This Thames boat stayed in touch, but it's not them going through to the Friday of Henley. No, Thames, have, again, they've uh, fought gamely, but they won't have done enough to put the Germans off their stride. Germans have now just dropped the rate off and they, there's another glance over the shoulder, rather an optimistic glance. 
from Ralph Ellison in the bow seat for Thames and he'll have been disappointed to see that they were just over a length down. Nothing could happen to turn that round in the last few strokes. So the Germans progressing. Looks like they've uh, taken their toll on that race a bit. Looking some discomfort in early one.